Welcome to Bigraphy. In this tutorial, we'll design a parametric spiral staircase showcasing the platform's computational design capabilities. Let's dive in. This video guides you through creating a customizable spiral staircase with Bigraphy's cloud-based design tool. It showcases how to use nodes and parameters to adjust dimensions, spiral radius, step size, and more, highlighting the platform's ease of use and powerful parametric capabilities for geometric modeling. We begin by defining our parameters. Three range input nodes will control the width, length, and height of our staircase steps. The width will range from 40 to 60. Set the length with a minimum of 5 and a maximum of 15. Set the height with a minimum of 10 and a maximum of 15. With our parameters set, let's create the first step using the box node. We'll connect our width, length, and height parameters to the corresponding inputs on the box node. Next, We'll define the origin point for our staircase using a range input node named point ranging from 10 to 15. Feeding into a construct point node. This establishes the starting position for our staircase on the grid. We'll use scale and U to adjust the size of our box along the X and Y axes. The scaling factors will be driven by a list sequence SEC nod. This will allow us to create variations in the step sizes. The number of variations, and therefore steps, is determined by the count range input, currently set to 10. Set the start to 1 and the end to 0 0.4. Set the starting point of scale and U to match the starting point of the box. Now let's elevate and offset our steps using the move node. Now, we will create a new point where the z-value will be the height multiplied by the number of steps. The x-value will be set using the range input node with a minimum of 2, a maximum of 8, and it will be named radius. Now, we will determine the vector direction using the vector by two points node, based on the starting point of the box and the point we created. This defines the trajectory for the move operation. We will move the variables to the left side for better convenience. To increase the vertical offset, we amplify the vector's length using the amplitude vector node. This creates the upward spiral movement of our stairs. We will set the size using the list sequence node. The end will be the height of one step multiplied by the number of steps, where the cal will be the number of steps and the star will be one.
you can modify the parameters within the defined limits. Select the nodes, right-click, and choose Hide to remove unnecessary geometries. Next, the Rotate node will introduce the spiral. We'll rotate the steps around the z-axis. The rotation angle for each step will be controlled by another list sequence, SEC. The end will be set using a range input node with a minimum of 60 and a maximum of 250, and it will be named degree. The count will be the same as the number of steps. The start will be set to zero. Since we have defined it in degrees, we need to convert it to radians using the DEG to RAD node. Let's change the angle value to see the result. The final touch involves enhancing the visual appeal of our spiral tube by applying material properties. The Apply Material node allows us to structure a realistic appearance by setting parameters such as color, metallicity, roughness, and opacity. Let's add a central column to our staircase using the Cylinder node. Its origin will match the base point, and its height will be equal to the overall height of the stairs. The radius will be dynamically linked to the radius parameter to maintain consistency. Then, using the Addition node, we combine the cylinder with the rest of the staircase. The color of the resulting image can also be changed using the Apply Material node. Thanks for watching. We hope this tutorial helped. For more on computational design, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get the notifications. See you in the next tutorial.